Yeah, that's probably good enough. We are doing... Italian meatballs. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to Thursday. Uh, yeah, it's, it's meatball night again. But this time, they're Italian and not Swedish. Uh, we're going to be doing spaghetti. been a little bit since we've done um, spaghetti and meatballs. And uh, the reason we're doing so many meatballs is just we had a ton of beef that had been frozen in the freezer for a while, like several, several months. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just really wanted to finally get it out of there. And we had an onion. And we, and we had an onion, which apparently is the magical key to unlocking eating lots of meatballs. So uh, we're, you know, finishing up. I say finishing up as if we're finishing. We're getting started on these and uh, we'll be having meatballs, which is exciting. Also, uh, I got the results for my blood test because um, I had a blood test on Tuesday? Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday to uh, test for H. pylori since I've been having um, certainly symptoms of a stomach ulcer. And that test came back negative. Which is not what I wanted. I wanted it to come back positive because if it comes back positive, then I go, oh, cool. I have H. pylori, which is what has led to my stomach ulcer. Cool, everything makes sense. Now things make a little less sense. I could still have a stomach ulcer. In fact, I could still have H. pylori because apparently a blood test is the least accurate way to test for that, which is exciting. Um, so it's also a possibility, but also it could be something else completely. So uh, as a reminder, I have a appointment with a gastroenterologist next month, and then that we'll learn more stuff then. In fact, the doctor, when we talked to the doctor on um, on Tuesday, they were like, you know, I want to send you to a gastroenterologist. And I was like, fun fact, I already have an appointment with a gastroenterologist next month. And the doctor's like, oh, that's fantastic. And we actually, and she actually asked, she's like, who's the doctor? And we told the doctor name and, and, and she was like, oh, I love him. He's great. And I'm like, okay, well, good. That gives me, you know, a little, little confidence. So yeah, that's happening next month. And uh, I'm assuming that what will happen is I'll probably get tested for H. pylori again, this time with a different method. And we'll see how that goes. And if, you know, if I'm, if I'm still having issues, which I definitely am, like I'm definitely still having, uh, you know, problems with my stomach. Um, I don't know. They're probably, they're probably almost certainly going to want to do a scope. Like I don't want to speculate, but like that seems like the logical next step is to just look and see what's going on. But I don't know. We'll, we'll worry about that, uh, later. In the meantime, meatballs. Oh, this looks absolutely fantastic. Thanks. It's been a while since we did this. Also, I don't know what it is. It's it's only. I mean, I guess we're having dinner a little bit late, right? But it's it's only eleven o'clock. But I'm I, I've been practically falling asleep for half an hour. I'm so tired. Let me try. I I already know that the spaghetti is gonna be really good. So let me try a let me try a meatball. They're pretty good. They have good flavor. They got stuck to the pan a little bit. Yeah, I don't know what it was this time. I've made this all before. This is my normal meatball recipe. Yeah. I don't know. Flavor's good. There's just like... It just, a little it, misshapen. Yeah, but otherwise... Otherwise, good stuff. Man, I'm so tired. Why am I so tired? I was doing good all day, and then... I got here to the end of the day and like, I am crashing so, so hard. Okay, I'm gonna finish this and then uh, I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> I need to keep sleeping. I need to keep getting, you know, all of the rest that um, I guess I need. Hopefully uh, over time I will feel better. Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?